Make sure you're keeping things fresh this Christmas with the leaders in male grooming and their brand new fourth generation performance package. Nick York is outside the Etihad West Ham Fan TV. Um, Dom, I don't think it's the right approach today. We try playing like them. Um, you can't do that against Man City or any of the top sides. And we showed that against Liverpool because we didn't outplay Liverpool. We bullied them. We bullied them. Should have done the same today. The setup was. I don't have any complaints about the setup. It's the same formation that beat him in the Carabao Cup a month ago. That's fine. Um, but we just we didn't roll our sleeves up enough. We didn't really get stuck in. We tried playing too many one-touch football, and it never works against them because that's their style, and that's how they play, and that's how they suss teams out. And unfortunately, it weren't to be. I think I'm glad we got a goal back at the end because I think two 0 would have been really harsh. I thought it weren't the greatest of games of football, if I'm honest. Like that second half dragged a lot. And the snow didn't help. I mean, I'm surprised it went ahead. I mean, fair play the ground staff for like making sure they're clearing the pitch at half time. That's fucking torrential. But uh, I mean, you know, we can't expect much. It's Man City at the end of the day coming here and getting a result. Um, we disgrace ourselves. No, we, we don't really, do we? I mean, like under more, like we haven't had a game where we've come out and thought that was absolutely fucking appalling for a few years now under Moyes. You know, we're always going to be a hard team to beat. I mean, that, 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 that their fans will know it. Like, you know, like when it was 1-0 coming up towards the end, uh, we were pressing. Mm. But what frustrates me is, why don't we do it earlier? We should have done it earlier because, you know... We caught like, them a few times. And they were getting frustrated. You know, Kyle Walker ended up smashing the ball into the into the uh, advertising balls. Like, he was getting frustrated. They, that, the crowd was on edge. And I just think, if we started, you know, doing that a bit early, we might have got a goal and, you know... Obviously, I think the second. I think both goals are poor goals from us. You know, like Masuaku getting caught on the left. Uh, again, like I say this, like he's all right as a wing back, but defensively he's he's, he's not good. Um, and the second goal, you know, we're trying to play, play out from the back, and we, we're just caught. Cool. We're just caught. Cool. We, we can't re again, like we're trying to do what City do, play out from the back, and you know we can't do that. We can't do that because they, you know, that they got our number on that, and they they press hard as well, but. Great goal by Lanzini, and this is, you know, I said this to you last week, I think he's got to start now. Push I think, he's, start, got, I yeah. think he's got to start, like, you know, like, I thought Ben Ram was um, off the pace again today. Not, I'm not, you know, like, no, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of Ben Rama, but I think watching the last few games, I think he's, uh, I think Lanzini's been the better player out of the two. You could, argue, you could argue Lanzini's only good as a sub, but how do you know that if you're not starting him? Yeah. I think we should start him on Wednesday night, and that's a must win now. You know, it's, it's rare we, we it's rare we lose two on the trot under Moyes uh, since he's come back. But Brighton, Brighton side, and eh? side as well. You know, they've not won in nine games, so you know it's all set up. You know what I mean? But like, we're better than that now. We're not like we're not like teams that ends other teams like rots anymore. But we also ain't beaten Brighton, so we've got to go. We've got to win because you know that that's two defeats in a row now. You know, it's not crisis time exactly, but I think. Especially now, I think it looks like it's catching up with us. Like I thought Antonio was um, invisible today. I yeah. thought he was static. I thought he looked tired. I thought I thought I thought he should have come off. I thought you know Masuaku come off for Bowen. I thought Bowen should have come on for Antonio. He looks tired. He's the only striker we've got, so we have to play him. Thankfully, we're already the job's done in Europe, so we can take a free hit against Zagreb. But like I said, this is the start. Well, the second week now, we've got a game each week up until the end of the year. So uh, two games each week up until the end of the year. So like, it's going to be hard to um, get Antonio going again. But you know, like he's, he's done well this season. I mean, everyone everyone can have, have an off game. But yeah, like you said, Nick, we didn't disgrace ourselves one bit. Um, I just think we we tried playing more like City, and it was it was. The, the, I don't mind the the, the the formation, but like the style of play played right into their hands unfortunately but again like you know it was a great goal by Lanzini 2-0 would have been harsh uh, you know what more can we expect really you know like it's not the end of the world they're Man City at the end of the day but got to get a result on Wednesday night now it's got to be three points brilliant thank you very much no worries, cheers pal thank you because Manscaped care about everyone who watches West Ham Fan TV they're giving a huge 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code WFTV at checkout so what are you waiting for Head over to manscaped.com to get your Manscaped razor today.